field. And not looking to fast break at all on this. It looks like Allie got up, oh, but a quick Hutton shot deep. deep. And Greenberg with the big dive, but here in just the first two points of the game. Ryan Benuka putting it deep to Michael Jordan, streaking deep. But uh, it comes down away with that easily. The disc seemed to follow the intended path quite nicely. And a bit of a small space over to Ladyman, but he does get the reset. Cheetah looking for it around to Klain. Klain with he the backhand to Isaac Leonard for the goal. No, that would be Jordan Taylor. Jordan Taylor. Um, there for the first couple throws. It was a little bit hard to tell based off of how close together the Indianapolis handlers were. They were playing really small ball, uh, dinking and dunking back and forth between Travis Carpenter. Uh, and that was Kittleson Travis Carpenter back to Cameron Brock for the goal. Playing styles, they have defined roles set between them, even though they may not speak about it specifically. But I wouldn't be surprised if you asked either one what their role was on this team. And a firing shot deep from Cheetah to, again, Jordan Taylor already making his presence known. That's two scores for Taylor. Looking for that opportunity to go to the break side uh, for a nice cross-field hammer. Through Matsuka some getting there. bumped there a little bit. Here's mm -hmm. the hammer. And there it is. Not to Keenan Plue or Henderson. Cameron Brock, but Alex Henderson. Field. And that was Connor Henderson there bidding, not making it, and so it's back. Oh, but oh, the big D. It right back. Slow down the Alley Cats, who seem to be building some momentum pretty effortlessly. Over to Carpenter, who fires to Cameron Brock, and that's an easy score. This contact, a little bit of a conversation with the ref, um, but that's Alex Henderson with the disc. Out to space for Matsuko with the easy score. More confident with their downfield receivers. And Josh Klain was in a power position looking for it deep and instead Taylor it was going reset. to the end zone. Brian Vanuka. Brian Vanuka who closes. Flows it. And Jones was there, tried to make a play, um, but it was Vanuka who came down with the score. This has been textbook from Alley Cats up to this point. They push all the way, almost in this 30 yard space, over to the break side and then look to swing it across, making it very difficult for the windchill and a second score by Matsuka. Matsuka do a lot. And we did see Plu breaking the mark over to Cameron Bach in the end zone. The disc was um, returned. And, and that is Plu with the in. score. He was trying to come down with that. And Greenberg able to pull in the disc, looking for Klain deep out into space. Josh Klain attacking that disc, coming up with a huge layout grab. Klain came under, over to Vanuka, and a score for the windchill. They Indianapolis doing a great job just playing conservatively, making sure that they're not making any errors, and trying to roll this game out. With a two-point lead, Winchell have an opportunity to, to come back, but as we roll down here with one second left, and the game is over. And what, so 11-13, fourth quarter.